Come on. Come on. That's the five right there. 40 meters. We're doing it. This is it. This is it. We're doing it. That is absolutely insane. 185 to 209. That's crazy. Guaranteed diamond move flan. I wonder what he's gonna score. That's the highest, that's the highest you've seen is 187. Jeez, man. That one's just a gray one, right? Okay, well, oh my gosh. 185 to 209, man. And you, a lot of you guys know I have been trolled by a lot of these. I've only got two diamonds. I don't think I have a bigger diamond than like, I don't know, it's a couple points above above uh, the requirement. I wonder if it'll be uh, a max weight, 60 kilos? That'd be wild, man. Well, we're gonna move in. We're gonna get to like 150, do this safe. We'll do it with the M1, or we could do it with the crossbow. Should we do it with the crossbow? I'm guessing 185 because 185 is huge. 185 is, 185 is huge, man. That's true. But man, he's so wide. Look at that right side. His right side is gigantic. Look at it. Wow. The far, that far horn is <laughs> ridiculously big. I've definitely never seen one like that. Slowly creeping up. Not going to rush. We've got him at 63, 63 meters. We'll get him to... I'd like to do it from 30 with the crossbow. We could do it from 50, but nah, not for this guy. I think we'll get to 30 if we can. Don't leave already. Okay, okay. He's just repositioning. Okay, we got a, t we got a tiny bit of time left. They're going to be leaving soon. I don't know why he went alert. I'm so far away. And I'm prone. I'm going to try, but Scarecrow's right. There's like no cover here. That's why he's getting, uh, he's getting antsy. Yeah. It's the lack of cover. I got a bush right to my right, though. If he goes alert again, he's probably going to leave. We'll, we will will this thing into being calm. He went alert, and now he's traveling. We need to get into that bush. He's attentive. Okay. He's not going to leave just yet. If I can get to that bush, I don't know if he's going to let me get to it, though. He doesn't want me getting any closer than, like, 55 meters. He's not liking that. Maybe if we just kind of inch our way over. Now's my chance to get up to this bush. Get to the bush. Got to get to the bush. We're spooking. I really want to take him with the crossbow, man. We could, like... I feel like if we reset it and come back, we'll get a better situation than that. That was definitely a little bit awkward. Track him, then shoot him with the crossbow. We could have done that. I mean, maybe if he, if this, if that happens again with him, we might do that. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. So we're probably not actually gonna get there first because I don't, I didn't have a tent at this lake, so we have to hoof it. Probably not gonna get there, but that's fine. Yeah, the wind is decent, but if it starts whipping over to the west like it did last time, uh, it might be a problem again. Hopefully it won't do that. There he is. I knew it. I knew he was the one behind the tree. <laughs> okay. All right. So what did we learn from last time? Well, he has super animal hearing, super extraordinary superhero hearing and vision. Well, he's come quite a bit closer. They're now, he's 77 away now. I gotta get, I want to get him to, to 30. I don't want to do it from 50. I mean, I will, but I would so much rather do it from 30. Gosh, he's such a monster, man. Oh, he's such a monster. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I messed this up. I really don't want to do it from 50. We got to be super patient, though. 
We really got to be patient. We can't rush this at all. He's alert. I'm only 60 out. Why is he alert? But yeah, it's a visual thing. He's actually seeing me. So I basically have to make sure I'm always behind a bush, which means we're not going to be able to see it. For one. But I have to always be behind a bush by the time we get up to like 60, 60 meters. If I'm not behind the bush, he is going to go alert and he's going to move. He's calm. 63, well, 63 away. Okay, so uh, I wonder if I can traverse right and go from this bush to the next without him spooking. Now I've got a tree between us. That might be a good thing. That might be a good thing. He might not see me through that tree. He's going to move. That's okay. I will also move. We'll do a little... I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll do your dance. That's fine. I'll play your game. It goes behind the other tree. Okay, I like that. He's 46 out, and he's perfectly broadside. Don't you... Ugh. You just had to do that, didn't you? We need that guy to move. He's perfectly broadside at 45. We need this little guy to move. Because he's calm. This is it right here. This is it. It's, it's this... Or it's nothing. So I'm always still calm and I'm kind of out in the open. I guess I'm technically in this bush. I, th I don't know. I <laughs> This guy's got to get out of the way. That's such bad luck that he crept in there. Otherwise, we'd be perfect. We could. You know what we could do? We could go to the right of that tree. We'll still have a good quartered angle from the right side of that tree. Thank you, FSN. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Unbelievable. All right. Now we're just going to follow them. Actually, yeah. You know what? He's going to come back. He's going to come back. We'll sit right here. That's probably, honestly, the best thing that could have happened. We'll sit right in a bush and they'll come back like Scarecrow said. Moment of truth. I think that's him. Yeah, that's him right there. Let's see where he goes. He's coming directly for us anyway. That's got to be him. No, that's not him. Where is he? I got to figure out which one he is pretty quick here. There he is. He's going to go on this side. He's right behind this bush. Of course he is. Oh my gosh. Never had so much trouble with a diamond in my life. He's right on the other side of this bush. Like, I mean, there's another bush right there. If I was in that bush instead, I'd probably be able to see him. But if I go prone and, and crawl over there, I think it's going to spook them. If we get lucky, because they will shift eventually. At some point here, they're going to shift. We're gonna move around a little bit and uh, all we can hope is that he's gonna pop out when they do that now the other option is that I go prone and try to get in that bush right there but I just feel like as soon as I move they're gonna see me and they're gonna spook and then he's gonna spook as well if I go down the hill all the way to the bottom to the water maybe I can be out of their line of sight and then I can shift this might actually work. <laughs> Their drink time ended. No. <laughs> I can't believe how long this is taking. We got to track him. I'm not resetting the time again. No way. We're going to get up on him. Come on in. Come on. Let the five be. Let the five be right here. I don't know why it says fleeing. That thing is not fleeing. It's traveling. 
Did they split up? This is the craziest herd of mouflon. Let me get up to this bush. Try to see what's going on here. Please tell me they're all just sitting right up here. That would be so perfect. There's the five. Okay, they're down here. Where is he? Where is our guy? Where is our boy? He's right, they're right down here. I haven't seen the five yet, but he's gotta be in there. It doesn't look like they split up. Come on, come on. That's the five right there. 40 meters. We're doing it. This is it. This is it. We're doing it. 35, 32, 30. Oh. Oh, I need a second. I'll be right back. God, that felt like an eternity. Um, wow. Okay, let's pick this thing up. 200. Jeez. 185.1, 189, 190.4. Uh, hopefully 190. So it'd be so cool if he was a 190 or above. 186.3. He's huge, though. Look at this. Look at his right horn, you guys. Look how big that thing is. That right horn is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow.